Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video about cloth diapering and the particular brand is G Diapers. And today will definitely be an example of real life video because I'm actually cooking in the background. I'm in the kitchen today. You've kind of been all over my house. I've done a video in my living room, my bedroom, now my kitchen. And um, also my baby's also here with us uh, chomping on some crackers. So, so I um, was given G diapers by a great friend of ours uh, before my baby was even born. And I was given the little starter pack. So G diapers comes in three different sizes. So there's the small, the medium, and the large. The smalls are for like newborns up to a certain about 17 pounds. And with the smaller uh, G diapers, you actually can't use the cloth inserts because they don't make it for that small. But they have these disto disposable sorry inserts. And for those ones, you can. Um, slide those ones in and then you just dispose of them in the toilet and then the actual um, outer shell um, can be rewashed. So um, I have some here to show you. So this is an example of a G diaper. So this is the cloth portion of it. So the outer shell. So it has these lovely little Velcro straps and it has this really great thick stretchy band that is awesome to prevent um, blowouts or anything like that. And then the inside has this sort of like plastic lining or vinyl lining that's where you slide the um, cloth insert in. So um, I have these bamboo, they're like five layer bamboo uh, charcoal inserts. There's tons and tons of inserts out there. There's like um, charcoal and then there's the hemp bamboo um, there's so many different kinds I have hemp ones as well and then um, my good friend of mine gave me these ones which are the charcoal bamboo ones so um, I haven't really used them enough to really say which ones are particularly better uh, they're both pretty good so far I actually really enjoyed the hemp ones they did quite well but like I said I haven't really been able to go back and forth I didn't use cloth diapering as much as I wanted to. Uh, it was a lot more work than I thought. <laughs> um, mainly because you kind of need a really large amount of inventory before you can get started. And um, if you only have a couple, it doesn't really make sense. You have to make sure that you have enough to make a full rotation with to actually put them away and use them. So, like I said, so these are the G diapers and um, they're pretty awesome in terms of how they fit. They're super comfortable. I do feel like my baby's probably a lot more comfortable in these than uh, disposable diapers, which are very, you know, plasticky cotton, you know, they kind of feel like big cotton balls or whatever. And they're actually really, really slim. So I might be able to show you um, a shot. My baby's actually just right over here eating. So if you hear him in the back, there he is. So if you hear him in the background, um, he's chomping away on some crackers. So they're pretty great that way. Um, so what I do with the, the diapers is I, ha I have a wet dry bag. Um, this is an example of the travel size one. So they're actually really awesome. I got them online, I think at Amazon or eBay for like nothing. They were like $2 or $8, something like that for like a pack of them. And you just order them online and they have these really great um, sort of lining on the inside that's sort of plasticky so that when you put anything wet inside of them, they stay really nice and dry and they're pretty good at keeping the smell out as well. Um, I actually would go swimming with my little one and I put all of our swimming stuff at the end of the day in this bag and I could put it in my purse and my purse wouldn't get soaping wet from all of the, the wet stuff. So that's really great. So what I do uh, with the G diapers, of course, um, put it on my little one when he's used it. Then you take out the insert, which I dropped. <laughs> so I take out the insert. Uh, I like to pull things apart. So the G diaper actually has these little snaps um, to put the lining in. So you can actually um, unsnap everything and put it aside. My little one's grabbing crackers, sorry. Um, so you can actually pull everything apart to throw it in the wash. But uh, you don't always have to, but usually I would like to pull them apart and pull the three pieces and you throw it in the wet bag. And, um, and then I do a separate uh, laundry load just for the G diapers. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can go to G diapers uh, to order them. You can also get them online on eBay. 
to potentially to save some money. So like I said, I always like to try to save money. So it, you can get them online, but you might not save tons of money. You can also get G diapers. You can check Kijiji, and if you're totally good with it, you can get some used diapers. Um, what you can do is you can get these shells um, that are used. And some people, like I said, I'm not always opposed to using used stuff. Uh, when it comes to diapers, you might feel a little um, odd about because they are more of like a sanitary thing. But because the shells don't necessarily actually come in contact much with any of the, you know, um, poo or pee or whatever, um, you can always get those online. And some people, you know, they bought de diapers and then their baby grew out of it too fast. So therefore, they never even really used them. So you could um, do that. So I'm going to give you just a, a little idea of what the G diaper looks like when it's actually on. So I'm just going to slide my little ones behind Yay. into view. Ta-da! So this is my little one in his G diaper. As you can see, it's actually really great. Um, it fits really nicely. And um, it's really, really slim compared to... Hi. Oh, your arm's in the way. <laughs> it's actually really slim compared to how other uh, cloth diapers <laughs> fit in. So, and it has this great little stretchy band um, that, oh, bless you, that works very, very nicely. And uh, also a little stretchy sides as well. But it's much slimmer than some of the other um, cloth diapering brands that are out there. <laughs> So you could also check us out on the blog at babyonbudget.ca for different blog posts um, and as well check us out on Facebook. That's where I post all of our sales, contests, information, and deals. <laughs> and so if you want any information on that, you're definitely going to have to check out our Facebook page. Just look up Baby on Budget. Okay, thanks. Bye.